So hi folks, and uh, it's Gary here from Core NA, our second session for you awesome guys. For this session, what you're gonna need is you're gonna need like a big bath towel and a pair of socks, and we'll show you why just in a little minute. But for now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna get ourselves warmed up first before we get into some of our activities. So you can pause this video anytime you want. Um, but some of the games you can play, you can keep repeating them. So your choice. You can go now, pause it, get your towel and your pair of socks, or else we can just get straight into it. So we're going to start off with the warm up. All I want you to do is who can bounce on their toes. Just get yourself moving. You're going to get your whole body moving like so. So we're just bouncing up and down, and this is super again. If you're playing the Xbox all day, or on the PlayStation, or you're maybe on your phone, whatever it is you're doing, this will just help waken up the whole body. So super, so just keep bouncing here now. And let's pretend I've got a skipping rope. So if you just skip, get yourself moving. You can move any way you want. Get your knees up now this time. So you can get your knees up as if they're skipping. Excellent. Okay, right. Now this time, let's see, can you stick with me now? I'm gonna to move to the side and touch down. Move to the other side and touch. So let's see. Just getting the heart rate going. Get everything moving. That's good, side to side. Super, come on, we're nearly there. Last few seconds, three, two, one, back to the middle. Here we go, here we go, get those knees up, get those knees up. Excellent, back on the skip, super. Now we're gonna go through a few movements now we're gonna use later on in our workout. So, we're gonna keep going here for the next five seconds. Four, three, two, one, and relax. So just get the heart rate up. Now what you do, we're gonna go into our squat. So feet have width apart, and all you're gonna do is just try and sit down as if you're sitting down. That's it. Just show me the badge in your chest. If you're wearing anything that's got a badge in your chest, let me see it as you squat. And that's it. So just keeping used to that movement. The next move we're gonna do is a lunge. So when you lunge forward, and then come back, and then lunge forward. Come back and we'll do one more each side. Lunge forward and then lunge forward and come back. This one, we're gonna do an inchworm into two shoulder taps. So you can just follow me or you can watch the first one. We'll do three of these. So our hands go down towards the ground. We walk our hands out and then you tap one shoulder then tap the other. Then walk your hands back in. Stand up tall and then we go again. So this is my second one. Touch my shoulder, shoulder, come back up. And then last one, back down. And then I'm going to touch my shoulder and my shoulder. And then I come back up. Excellent. Now, so we're going to do now a little bit of throwing, catching, a wee bit of um, trying to see can we control the socks as well. And then we're going to go into our throwing game then with the towel. So for now, just grab a pair of socks. And to start off with, just throw and catch any way you want. You can throw it under your leg, under your arm. If you can throw, spin, ah, missed, and catch. See if you can try it. Can you do throw, clap, catch? Here we go. Throw, clap, clap, catch. Or can you go, and that was, that was front, back, catch. Front, back, catch. So try loads of different ways. And then the next thing what I want you to do is this. Can you try now, hit that off, your hand, like so. Aha! I'm trying to keep that move in there. So, oh, it's away from me. So, I'll come back in here. Keep, can you try it? Quick the big all the times. And the next thing that you're gonna try with it, okay, is this. I want you to try hitting it against a wall. So, maybe if I do it here against the door. So again, it has to be a pair of socks, something soft. Just make sure there's nothing around the door. And all you do is try to hit it off. Ah. Let it see how it bounces and see can you move and see how many times you can hit it off the door. So give that a go now yourself. Let's see, see how many, maybe give yourself three, four goes, give yourself loads of goals, maybe we'll go for what's the best score you can get out of three goes, okay? So here's mine, one, two, ah, there's two for that one. Let's see, can you get a few more? Let's go, one, no. Oh, the door's hard. Maybe I'm gonna I'm gonna make it easier for myself. You can make it easier. I'm gonna go against the wall. So the wall's a little bit easier because it's not bouncing off every direction. Aha! Hey, there we go, there we got it. Ah! 
Done. So, I think that was a total of about 10 for my three goes. How many did you get for your three goes? Maybe you could have a competition against somebody at home, or yourself, whoever it is. All right, so that was just to kind of get us ready now for one of our main games. Right, what you want to do now with your tile for this first part is I want you to open it up, okay? So as big as it can go. So I'm going to open up my tile here as big as it can go and set it on the ground, okay? So with my tile now on the ground, what I'm going to do is try to take, you can take five, six steps, whatever it is. I'm going to try and stay in shot. So I bring this right up here to the corner of it. It would be awesome. So I'm going to take a few steps out here now. So here we go. So one, two, three, four, and five. Now what I'm going to do, this is a key and what you have to do. If you throw it, okay, ah, me landed in, which I didn't. So I'm going to go back so I missed. I'm going to throw and try and land it on the tile. Now if I land on the tile, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to fold the tile in half. Then I'll walk back to my five steps back. I'll throw again. If I get it in, super, I'm going to fold it in half again. So as you see now, the target's getting smaller. And then I have to go again, kind of land it on. Oh, just about. And then I'm going to fold it again until for the final go, when it's like a square, and then you have to try and throw and aim it on the square. All right? So have a practice go now yourself, starting off really big. So have a few practice goes, and then we'll turn it into a little bit of a competition here. Um, a wee bit of extra challenge. So really big, if you get it in, remember, then you can just fold it in half. So you fold it in half. If you throw again and you get it on, you can fold that in half. You can maybe go this way this time. And then if you get that in, you can then fold it in half again. So keep practicing at home. Keep trying, see how you get on. All right, I'll give you another few goes. Doesn't matter if you don't get it the full way. We're gonna have a little bit of a contest night on a race with us very soon. So keep practicing, keep working away at home, see how you're getting on. So super, now, so try and get your tile now to start so it is nice and big, okay? So it's really big here. Again, take a few steps back. So going about five steps back. This time now, when you throw, okay? If you miss, you have to do three star jumps. Sorry, five, or five, sorry, we'll go five. Five star jumps, so if I miss, so I'll show you an example. If I throw here and I miss, it goes off, I'm gonna do five star jumps. So one, two, three, four, five. I go back, pick it up, and go again. So, let's have a little bit of a, a contest. Let's make it a little bit, uh, a little bit more difficult. You're gonna race me, okay? Gonna see, who can get it right into their square first and land it on um, the quickest is going to be the winner. So are you ready? So take your five steps back. Okay. On your marks, get set, go. So throw it on. Good. Got that first one on. Going to put it in half. How did you get on? I'm going to move my back a little bit further. So here we go. Here we go. Here's number two. Ah, it went off. Five star jumps. One, two, three. Four, five, gonna go again. Grab it again, here we go, back I go. Let's see, can I get it on this time? Oh, just a bite stay. So that's good. So I'm on to the next time, gonna fold it again. Are you finished yet? If you're finished, why don't you open up again, have another go. On to my third one, this is gonna be difficult. Ah, it's off, five again. One, two, three, four, five. All right, let's go again, let's go again, let's go again. Here we go, here we go. Big throw this time. Ah, oh, missed again. So, one, two, three, four, five. I think I'll be here all day. I'm gonna try it at this angle, see if this helps me. I need all the help I can get against you guys. Yes, got it, so land it on. Last one, I'm gonna fold it into my square. Are you finished yet, have you beat me? Let's see, last one, do I get it on first day? Yes, winner. Okay, so, how did you get on, all right? Again, that's a nice wee game you can play at home with your mum, your dad, your brother, sister, whoever is in the house. You can have a contest with it. You can go further back. You can start off really close and then keep moving back with it. So, what I want you to do now, guys, 
is grab your towel. I'm going to do a little bit of a towel workout here now. So I want you to try and fold your towel. So more or less like it's really thin and long. All right. So nice and thin and long. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to do a little bit of a workout. We're going to do a good bit of jumping and landing with this. Okay. So first one, first movement is going to be squat, jump and land. So if I have my tile here, what I'm going to try this is going to jump over and then I'm going to try and jump back. All right. So you're jumping over and back. So that's the first exercise. So you can practice it out now. So jump over and then jump back. The next exercise, we're going single leg and we're going up our tile. So here, single leg land, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. You're trying to get about four in your tile. So one, two, three, and four. All right? Then the next one now we're going to do, guys, is we're going to do our press up uh, position and walk overs. So we're going to do walk overs first. So if I get down here, I'll do it this way actually, because then I can stay in shot. So all I'm going to do then is over is one and back is two. Over is three and back is four. All right. Then the next one then, guys, is going to be walk ups. So you're going to go sideways here. You're going to walk right to the top and then you're going to go walk back down again. All right. So I'm going to do two upper body and two lower body. We're going to do about 12 of each, okay? So let's see if you can stick with it here. So roughly doing about 12, okay? So 12 reps. Are you ready? So squat, jump over and back first. I'll keep counting. Ready and go. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, well done. Single leg bind now up the tail. Let's go. One leg, let's go. So one, two, three, four. Good. Let's go back up. Five, six, seven, eight. One more length. Let's go. Nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Super. Let's get this upper body working now, guys. So hands down in press up position. So hopefully you can see me, I'm going to try it this way here. So, hands down, ready, and walk your hands forward. Over the top, there's one. Back again, there's two, and three, and four, and five. Good, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and 10, and 11, and 12. Good, you take a little bit of a rest if your arms get a little bit sore tired. We're going to start now down at the bottom one down here. And we're going to move our hands down and come back up. Okay? So you're ready. So across is one. And across is two. Three. Four. Good. Five. Excellent. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. And 12. Super great work. Great work. Right. Let's try and do one more set. But this time we're going to do 10 reps of everything. So last set. Now if you feel strong enough, if you feel you want to go on, you can do another set after we do this one. So jumping forward and back, single leg, and then we'll work our two movements in with our upper body. So are you ready? Here we go. Okay. And go. So one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well done. Single leg now. Are you ready? Here we go. So one, two, three, four. Good. Five, six, seven, eight. And let's go for two more. Nine big ones and ten. Good. On the ground now, we're going to do our hand walks, okay? So, hand on the ground, walk over the top first. Let's go. And one, two, good. You feel your tummy tight. Three, four, good. Five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, and ten. Well done. Okay, last exercise. You're gonna walk our hands down to the middle, to the end, and back up. Are you ready? And here we go. And one, good. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Super work, folks, super work. So again, if you feel, you know what, yeah, I've got another set in me, go for it. So 10, over and back, go 12, go 14, whenever you feel you're ready for it. So 10, over and back, 10 single leg bounds, and then hand walk overs, and walk back, and then walk in your hands sideways. So guys, that is us. Remember, you can stop this video, you can re-watch it, you can do whatever you want with it, you can... Uh, bring your family, bring your friends, try that throwing catching game, even throwing catching with your hands or throwing member against the wall, trying to do keep you uppies. A really good one with that, if you have a brother or sister, is you can try and keep the socks up between you. I call it like sock volleyball, so you can also try that. Um, guys, it's been a pleasure doing these few videos for you. Hopefully, you enjoyed them and you give them a go. Try them out and I shall catch up with you very, very soon. Thank you guys very much. Cheerio. Bye.